Sometimes I see videos or pictures on social media where I'll see something like this. You'll have a beautiful facade in front of the DJ booth, maybe even scrim speaker stands and a light tree that has some fixtures on it that do the job. This may not be your style or what you would choose. I just kind of threw this together, but it gives you an idea, a light tree with some effects on it. One thing that people still tend to skip, and I wanted to just point this out today, is cable management. Let me turn a light on. You can see a little better now. Nothing was done with these cables. And if you're saying to yourself, well, yeah, this is 101, great. But you know, you may be missing some things on your setup as well, and I'll pick on you another day. But I wanted to help. I wanted to show you some real easy ways that you could clean this up and make it look a lot nicer. I think the first thing we want to do is clean the stuff up on the T-bar itself and make this stuff run along with the T-bar. It's going to help hide it. So we can do this several ways. We can use zip ties, we can use electrical tape. I use Velcro straps like this. They're reusable. You can get them on Amazon. You can get them from gear manufacturers sometimes. Real simple. Just collect your cables up alongside your T-bar and Velcro them to your T-bar. I'm going to use two on this side. That should be just fine which is four Velcro strips. One here, one here, one here, and one over there. We have cleaned this up a lot. You don't see cables hanging down from the T-bar anymore. And to me, it looks a lot better. We do still have this problem right here though. The cables are kind of poking out and sticking out here and there. There are a couple different ways you can handle that. Let me lift this up in the air and share some of those solutions with you. So now that you're here, you may say to yourself, hey, that's pretty good. And if that's what you're saying to yourself, I'm with you. This is pretty good. Some people may think it's not enough. There are some people out there who are just insane about cable management. I'm not that guy. Some people are like that. I'm somewhere in the middle, I'm moderate. So this looks pretty good, but we do still have some stuff hanging out here and there. Make sure everything's bunched up on your Velcro as tight as you can to the tripod itself. Make sure everything's running in the same direction, either down the front or down the back. I like down the back. And then what you can do is bunch up your cables like this and wrap them around your tree. And then where a knob sticking out to tighten down your tripod, sometimes you can hook it right there. And that's pretty good. It looks relatively neat. At the end of the night, all you have to do is reach down here, kind of pull them out from under the little knob and untwist, you're all done. You don't have to go through a bunch of rigmarole. There is one other way that's super easy. Here it is. I know it's almost cheating, but here it is, a tripod scrim. Either a speaker stand scrim or one specially designed for light trees that go much taller. Hides everything, even the clutter I have on the bottom. Now, if you want to make it real easy for yourself, you can use a 4 one light fixture such as the boom box. I've got this on an ADJ LS6 tripod. I've used the T-bar adapter. I've got one cable hanging off of it, and I've got a light show. Cable management is pretty easy. All you have to do is kind of get it out of the way like this, and it looks nice and neat, takes no time, and you've got a full light show. It's very similar to the one that I just showed you with only one fixture and one cable. There are a few suggestions for you on how to clean up your light trees, some cable management one-on-one -on -one if you have any questions, comments, ideas, write down here in the comments section. Thanks for watching. Practice and enjoy.